Hello everybody, welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So, um, it occurs to me that after I finished recording last episode, I never actually showed off the new Keyblade we got for beating the Goddess of Fate Cup. The Fatal Crest, so it has three strength, which is pretty bad for an endgame Keyblade, but it has five magic, which is the highest magic stat we've seen on a Keyblade thus far. And it also gives you plus two strength during MP Recharge, so during MP Recharge it has five strength, which is actually quite respectable. As for its ability, Berserk Charge, it's situational. There are times where it's very useful to be able to have infinite combos without finishers, but at the same time your combo finishers are just so powerful, especially when combined with combo boost and finishing, boot, and finishing plus. So there are situations where we will want infinite combos, but it's not really worth making it your main Keyblade, plus we'll learn the ability Berserk Charge as an individual ability once we get to a high enough level. Anyhow. Now that that's done, uh, there's a couple things that I want to do. So first off, I'm going to go to the Moodle shop and just see how many of each material I've actually collected. Have we gotten any of the Tranquility ones yet? Okay, so we're missing... Alright, we've gotten Tranquility Shards, but that's it. So we're missing the uh, Tranquility Stone, Tranquility Gem, Tranquility Crystal, and then the four Remembrance ones. And there's another one. Oh, and, ah, uh, yes, and the Manifest Illusion. Okay, so we're missing a few synthesis materials. I'm going to try to get those Tranquility ones first before we attempt the next Super Boss. In order to get the Tranquility ones, we need to defeat the Organization for Team Mushroom Challenges. So I'm going to see if I'm powerful enough to be able to beat the one in Agrabah right now. The one at the Cave of Wonders. Because it refills its HP really quickly. However... I equip Oath Keeper as my Keyblade. Why be able to use Final Form Flyraga to just obliterate him? Also, good, I have Ethers equipped. Excellent. Alright. Give me strength. Fire. Fire. Take that. Okay, so we got rid of that guy. Alright, we got a tent. Precious mushroom. Drive recovery. Tranquility Stone, Tranquility Crystal, Tranquility Gem, nice! And a Driver Cover, yeah, as you can see, they give a, a lot of rewards. So I'm pretty sure we did that as well as possible. If we go to, uh, where is it? I think it'll be Missions. This is an Agrabah. Uh, do, 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 do. Mushroom number five. Oh yeah, we beat him in ten seconds, so that was the best possible reward we could have gotten from him. Okay, so I did that one early. I was not I was planning on doing all of those mushrooms in one video, but I kind of want to be able to get all the- get the tranquility materials before then. Anyhow, now that that's done, we're gonna go off to Radiant Garden. To the... Actually, before that, I want to go to a moveable shop so I can hand over those tranquility materials. Put decisive pumpkin back on as my main keyblade. That is sweet memories. That's the wrong one. All right. We obtained Aura Calcum for completing some of the collections. We obtained a Serenity Crystal for completing. All right. Can we make any recipes now? No, we cannot. How about free development? No. Why can't I make that? Oh, do I need an- I need another Twilight Gem, eh? I- I actually don't have all the Twilight materials. Oh, one other thing. I need to get some dense stones, I think. Because apparently dense stones were like the one material I did not get from the nobodies. So first off, where can we find dense stones? Apparently dense stones are dropped by snipers. Well... There are snipers in the world that never was. That's a dense shard. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this is the room to get dense stones in. Alright, we have some more... Yeah, there we go. Now we can make save the queen. Use both of those. 
Boom, save the queen. A staff of colossal magic and strength quickly revives the wielder when fallen and restores much of their HP. That's pretty nice for Donald, because he dies a lot. Anyhow. Oh, we can't make another one because we need a lot more dense stones. Alright, well, you know what? I'm going to keep on killing those snipers until we get enough for the, the upgraded version of that. Also, why can't I make surrounding again? Oh, I need a remember. Yeah, remember this crystal. That's why. Ooh, we got enough dense gems that we now buy them from the store. Sweet. Alright, so now... Boop. And... Right, uh, we need to level up the Google Shop more than we need to have the ingredients. Here we can save the Queen Plus. A powerful staff of colossal magic power and strength restores MP relative to the amount of damage taken. Whether or not that's better than regular Save the Queen, I actually am not sure. It all depends on which ability you like. Because regular Save the Queen will help Donald revive more quickly. Whereas, uh, Save the Queen Plus will allow him to use MP more, and they have the exact same stats. I personally think I'm gonna go for Save the Queen Plus, just cause it's plus. Anyhow, now that that's all taken care of, off to the world map, and now we're gonna take on the next super boss. The next super boss, we've gotta go to Radiant Garden, to the Crystal Fisher. Alrighty, the Great Maw. So now if we go and see all these organizations for Team Mushrooms, most of them are going to say no, but that's the one from Agrabah that's like, yay, and he's actually sticking around to cheer for us. We want them all to cheer for us. Anyhow, we're off to the Dark Depths. This is where we saw, first saw Xemnas. And look who's here now, it's Sephiroth. Oh boy. Let's approach him. What is Cloud doing? Beats me. Hmm. By the way, you three, who are you? Well, I'm not sure we should tell you. Well, that's an interesting sword you're carrying. It's the key blade. I see. So that's a keyblade. And I suppose you must be its chosen wielder. So what if I am? I wonder if it won't change its mind once I defeat you. Yeah, we get to fight Sephiroth again. Strength. That's enough. And he can just insta-kill you with that reaction command. So you gotta be on it. And look how much damage he deals. So he's very similar to his fight in Kingdom Hearts 1, he's got an insane amount of HP, and he attacks very fast, he's super powerful, has a ton of reach, has most of the same moves from Kingdom Hearts 1, but he's far more aggressive. Thankfully, we're also much better as Kingdom Hearts 2 swords, so... Limit form makes this fight a lot more manageable, because you did not have that in Kingdom Hearts original. In Kingdom... Yeah, you gotta mash the triangle and then you see that appear. Eat Ars Arcanum, or Last Arcanum. I'm not gonna use the finishing move on him, so that way we can not add to his revenge value. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, we died. I fully expected that to happen. I would say he's a lot easier in this than he is in Kingdom Hearts 1, just because you're so much better as Kingdom Hearts 2, Sora. But he's still a very tricky fight, and he was the only bonus boss in the original release, so he's gonna be pretty tricky. We're gonna equip our combo pluses for this fight. Gonna leave and come back so it saves that in case we die again. <laughs> That's an interesting sword you're carrying. It's a candy cane! Show me your strength. So he always opens the battle with this reaction command, so be prepared for that. Oh yeah. It's been a while since I've had to use Refulga. At least in a capacity like this. Hey bro. 
Show me your strength. That's, That's enough. enough. He didn't give me a long time to show me to hit him with my strength. And if you're having a tough time against him, you can always level grind to increase your power. Man, I, this game does not let you get out your Kiragas very fast. I guess I was in the middle of another attack, but still, I was like mashing the Kiraga button. Show me your strength. That's enough. Back off. It's over. Oh, thank goodness that using limits in limit form is only rage. That's gonna be how we stay alive. Oh, he's already using his new moves, eh? Okay, that's his move where he reduces his, your HP and MP to zero. Thankfully, it's a lot easier to stop in this one than it was in Universe 1. Oh yeah, I remember that move. Oh crap. Strike raid saved my life. ability in this. He's gonna summon a whole bunch of stuff out. I'm gonna just super glide as best I can. Pop it in for. Don't be afraid to use Evers in this fight. Uh oh. This is his meteor attack. Okay. Hope you've got a high level glide. Even high level glide doesn't always work. Except the darkness. And imagine how hard this fight is without limit form. Okay, so enough! Oh, Heartless Angel? No, I don't think so. Keep my strike ring. Oh, no. I should not be in limit form. Accept. Talk on it and knock it off, Seppy. Oh! Doggone it. There are some times where, like, 
you can't use cure, but he can still kill you even though you have second chance and once more. That's that's kind of bogus. <laughs> Show me your strength. All right, Sephiroth. That's enough. I'm glad Sephiroth is a tough fight though. It's much more satisfying when you finally beat him that way. This is where you can chain Refugas into slap shots for hit damage. Because you can do like Refugas slap shot Refuga as like a combo. You also oh, never mind. He did a different. That's fine. Sorry. Aerial limit form is not as good as ground limit form. Descent, heartless angel. That's enough. You can also put on like potions or high potions instead of keepers if you prefer. Wow, it would not let me use limit form even though I had enough drive. All right, Sephiroth, you're gonna be even tougher than I remember. Show me your strength. That's enough. Zantasukin into our class arc is a great uh, combo. <laughs> Ouch, didn't do it in time. Wow, he broke through my strike rate. I'm not sure what just happened there. It wouldn't let me do anything, but I apparently could do something enough so that Second Chance of Once More did not activate. Sure. Really, game? Strike. That's enough. That's enough attack is really not bad unless you're in midair when you get there. In which case, the reaction command has to cancel. The fire pillar attack is a perfect time to use strike wave. Give in to the dark. Give in to the dark. That's enough. Give me strength. Perish now. Take this. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> From now on, when he does that when I'm in limit form, I'm just going to strike it. Actually, just when in doubt in limit form, you strike it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, Sephiroth. Not looking so one one sided anymore now, is it? Oh, this. Give in. 
Saves lives. <laughs> Thank goodness you have invincibility for like the first half of Strike Rate. Yeah. yeah, like what the heck was that? It just insta killed me without activating second chance and once more. That is not supposed to be able to happen. Show me your strength. That's enough. There we go. I'm beginning better at timing the raffle bits now. This isn't Kingdom Hearts 3. You can't guard while in the air. Last Arcanum does a ton of damage, but Strike Rate is safer and gives you more HP. I think I need to start reverting out of the drive form earlier. Because I think it might be like when I revert out of the drive form, it cancels my second chance once more. That's the only thing I can think of. So apparently you can't pop items when you're in the air. I guess I just gotta keep an eye on my drive gauge. Give me strength. Back off. Yeah, take that separate. Again, it would not let me cure, but I could still die without second chance and once more. Second chance and once more should only deactivate once you can cure. <laughs> Descend, heartless, and no nope, strike rate. Alright, let's have Ralph. Getting really close. Alright, he only has like a little over a bar of HP left. Alright, yeah, just keep doing this. I'm gonna just keep popping heavers and using strike rate when you do this. Perish now. Again, it would not let me cure. Sephiroth's like, I break the rules of the game so I can beat you. What the heck? I have never seen Sephiroth do this before. Once you get good at timing the dodge rolls, though, you can avoid his attacks a lot easier. And remember, dodge roll is just you lightly tap the button, not full on tap the button. The square button. Yeah, I don't even need one before the end of the job. Well, there was like no way out of that one. I was literally trapped in the corner with burning fire, and I had no way of healing myself. By the time I could actually enter limit form, Show it was too late. 
Also, Combo Master doesn't seem to be working as well as it should, because like, it's not letting me chain my Replicas together. Normally, you're supposed to be able to use, like, Replica, Slapshot, Replica. And that can make you, that can just deal insane damage, but it's not working. I use a Replica and I just can't do it in for, like, five seconds. Meteors I can deal with. Okay, and again, second chance of once more apparently just don't work. I do have Combo Master equipped, right? I should. Yeah, I do. Let me try taking the combo pluses off. So I usually have those off anyways, and I'm not sure if that's actually doing anything good in the long run. I might be able to get off two combos on them without the rather than one really long. Which will deal more damage. Let's see what that does. Like, sometimes you just can't avoid his attacks. Like, if he knocks you in the air, you will not be able to avoid that second before that he does. Yeah, like, when if you get hit by that first attack, you are basically dead. Because even aerial recovery with all its invincibility frames will not guard you from everything, and you Show can't me. guard while you're in midair, and you can't use items while you're in midair. That's enough. Take this. Back off. It's over. I think I'm normally a higher level when I take on Sephiroth. But for some reason, that time it worked, even though, again, I did the exact same thing that I've always done. If you've got magic, you can use a replica in there, but that's about all you can do. Give in to the dark. Perish now. Strike Rate doesn't deal a whole lot of damage compared to a lot of other attacks, but at least it gives you a lot of HP, at least it's safe. Descend. Nope. I was using Strike Rate! Alright, one other thing I'm gonna do, Fire Raga's not doing anything for me. I'm going to put on. <laughs> I'm gonna put on Magnica, because Magnica actually works on Sephiroth. Like, Magnica will actually pull Sephiroth in. Show me your strength. That's enough. It's over! Oh yay! The unblockable combo! Oh yay, he did it again! Okay, sometimes the fire breaks you out of limit form and other times it doesn't? I'm very confused, and apparently Magniga does not work on him anymore, so we're gonna put on Fundaga instead. Hopefully Fundaga we can use to just occasionally break him out of his trances. I don't know, I don't know what's going on anymore. This fight is not what I remember it was. I know I can do it, I've gotten him down to like one bar. That's enough. Please keep doing this. If you can just keep doing this Sephiroth, this fight will be a lot easier. That's 
enough. Please keep doing that's enough and descend Heartless Angel. Yes, I can counter these very easily. Alright, he's down to one bar. No! Again, it would not let me do anything. But I still die. Second chance and once more are completely broken right now. Show me your strength. Oh god, I was getting so lucky during that fight too. Skill. <laughs> and he just brushes it off like it's nothing. But apparently Cloud is the only one who can eliminate me. <laughs> Tell Cloud to come here. Tell him Sephiroth is looking to settle things. Alright, well... The only reward we got from that was we got another drive gauge level up. So now we have eight drive gauges for... Our normal form. Oh my gosh, that fight was way harder than I was expecting. I was expecting to cruise through that fight. Nope! Second chance and once more we're being butts and just not activating like 90% of the time. Thanks, second chance and once more. Anyhow, now we gotta go find Cloud. He's hanging out in the uh, main city. <laughs> out of my way. Yeah, if you're having trouble with that fight, I'd recommend bubble grinding some more. Like, I should have been at least ten levels higher for him. Oh, well. Hey, Cloud. Have you seen Sephiroth? 
Yes! Oh, tell him about Sephiroth. He's in the dark depths. I see. So I guess it's time to settle this. Cloud. I love it. So he's in the dark depths. I know exactly where that is. That's the safe point from the gummy ship, right? Yep. Near the crystal fissure. Now let's go back to the dark depths. Cloud still has to walk down here, whereas we just used a gummy ship warp, so we'll beat him. Oh, now he's just facing us. Hey, bro! What's up? <laughs> Did you give him my message? Maybe. Sorry to keep you, Sephiroth. Cloud. You'll never let go of the darkness. Shut up. You'll never let go of your past. Shut up! Cloud, get him! Dang, that's intense. Absurd. Defeating me is meaningless. You know that more than anyone, Cloud. No matter how many times I fall, your darkness keeps calling me back. Wrong! Tifa, stay back! How can I? I want to help you! You can't. He'll never let go of the darkness. He doesn't have to. He just needs someone to surround him with light. The darkness will be there, Sephiroth. But in a place you can't reach. Is that right? Let's see what this light of yours can do. Ha! No! Ha! Ha! Tifa is awesome. She go she doesn't she's taking on Sephiroth with a sword like that with her bare hands. And Look holding out. her own. Cloud, you can have my light. The light doesn't suit you. I just... don't know. Stop! So I don't know what's, what was up with that cutscene, because I haven't played Final Fantasy VII. Where'd they go? Do you think they made it back to their own world? They went somewhere else. Cloud went to fight a great battle. To defeat the darkness inside him. Oh, he went to Castle Oblivion. Not again. What will you do now? Hmm. Guess I'll keep looking. Got any leads? Don't worry. Light is easy to find. I gotta go. Here. This is for helping me out. But wait, when did we help? I saw you beat Sephiroth with a candy cane. It was hilarious. <laughs> and here we get Tifa's Keyblade. Fenrir has great strength and range, but maximum ground and midair combos are decreased by one. This is a very interesting Keyblade, even though it looks like it wouldn't hurt anybody. It has the highest strength stat of any Keyblade in the game. It has seven strength. Only one magic, though. And it gives you the ability negative combo, so it shortens your ground and air combos by one instead of increasing them by one. And actually, there is a lot of merit for that, because you can get to your finishers faster, although your finishers will be slightly less powerful due to the combo boosts not working as well. We will definitely be using this uh, for some of the bonus episodes. Better to get that sooner rather than later. Anyhow, that episode went on for a lot longer than I expected. I'm not sure how much of that Sephiroth battle I'll cut out, if any. That was intense, holy cow. 
Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Next bonus episode, we'll be taking on the bonus dungeon in the postern of Radiant Garden, which is the Cavern of Remembrance. So that's where we're going to find the Remembrance materials, that's where we're going to find the last puzzle pieces, and the last treasure chests of the game. It's a really tough bonus dungeon, you cannot beat it until all of your growth abilities from your drive forms are at max level, so you need to have maxed out all of your drive forms in order to make it through it. You're going to see why once we get there, but it's super fun and it's going to be super tough. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.